Vice President Designate, I would really like some concrete answers. So um, I'm focusing on a particular topic. Um, I'm focusing on energy isolated member states. The European Council conclusions of 2011 and after that subsequent conclusions state that by 2015 no EU member state should remain isolated from the EU's gas and electricity networks. Clearly, we are nowhere near that target. So concretely, what is your vision for those member states which are currently completely isolated, and how will you make sure that this target is met? Malta has a PCI to build a gas pipeline with the European Gas Network. Such a project requires EU funding and technical support. What measures do you intend to come up with to make sure that these projects are implemented as soon as possible? And finally, there is the 10E regulation, which obliges member states to issue permits in three and a half years. How will you ensure that this legislation is implemented? Thank you. Yeah, uh, well, throughout this hearing, we have been dealing with infrastructure, infrastructure projects. I am fully aware that there are two huge problems in Europe in that respect, uh, two islands as you have defined them. It will be difficult for me to change things that happened in the past. And a lot of things should have been done after 2009, but they weren't. In the energy security strategy, I think there are 33 projects listed. Those are the most urgent projects that need to be carried out if you want to strengthen our infrastructure. This, of course, ties into the problem that you have mentioned. This is our task. This is our duty and commitment. Those projects that have not been prepared up to now or that have not been started up to now, I don't know what to do about them. I cannot change things for the past. We need to start working today. Things can be prepared in a better way. Projects have to be better prepared. I will put a lot of energy into making sure that these urgent projects, the most important projects in this energy security strategy are implemented the way that they should be. But I fully realize that energy security depends to a great extent on the completion of the internal market. 